Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do another fun painting, so let's get started. I'm going to start off today with a small amount of blue on a 2 inch brush. And we'll come up here to the sky and drop in a nice, nice light blue area up here. Keep it dark at the corners, and then let it get lighter as it comes toward the horizon. Now with a clean brush, we can come right over here and just blend out this whole sky. I'm removing all these harsh streaks in there, kind of making it look nice and soft. Now with some white and a little tiny touch of red on the fan brush, we can come over here and think about some clouds that are up here, just using the corner of that brush. These will be nice, soft little clouds up here. Now with a clean 2 inch brush, we can come right down here and blend out the bottom of the cloud. And then you can fluff the top and then blend it right back down. Now with some black and blue and a little bit of red, we can come over here and drop in a nice little mountain shape. We're just worried about the outside edge of that mountain. Now with a clean brush, I want to grab that mountain and pull it. I'll let it get nice and misty toward the bottom. Now with the knife and a little bit of white, we can come right over here and drop a tiny bit of snow on these mountains. Small little roll of paint. These mountains aren't very big, so we don't want much paint. Now with a little bit of blue and white, we can come up here and drop a little bit of shadow on. Tiny little bit. Now back to the 2 inch brush that had that blue on it. And we can come right over here and just drop in a nice little lake. Start at the bottom and work up. And it'll get lighter toward the horizon, which is just what we want. Now with the fan brush and some green and white, we can come right over here and just tap with that brush. And you'll get like these little tiny far away tree shapes. Now with a one inch brush, I want to grab this and pull straight down. And then we'll go across, make some reflections. Now with a nice light brown, we can come right in here and drop in Drop in a far away bank or shoreline or something like that. Now we can grab a little bit more green with the fan brush and we can lower these trees down a little. Kind of push that back. And maybe even put a little bit of detail on some of them. Now back to that one inch brush and we can pull straight down for some reflections. Grab them and pull down, then go lightly across. Now with some dark brown on the knife, we can drop on a tiny, tiny little piece of land. Maybe have it come down like that. A little bit of brown and white, and we can drop a nice highlight right on that. Now with the knife and a small amount of white, we can come over here and drop in a nice water line, rubbing real hard. Now with the two inch brush and some good dark color, we can come over here and drop in some land just by pushing and tapping with that brush. Now back to that one inch brush, we'll grab that and pull down and then go across, just like we've been doing. Same over here. Grab that, and pull across. Now with some brown on the knife, we can drop in some more land right here. With a little bit of brown and white on the knife, we can add some highlight to this rock. With a little bit of white on the knife, we can add 
another little water line over here. Just rub it right in. Now with the two inch brush and some green and yellow, we can come right over here and start making some nice grassy areas just by tapping with that brush. Now I think I want a house right over here, so I'll take the knife and I'll just scrape away some paint there. Kind of block in where I want it to be. Now with a little bit of brown on the knife, we can just block this right in. Now with a little bit of brown and white, we can drop a small amount of highlight on that. Now when you're done with that, you can take your knife and just scrape away some of that extra paint. Kind of correct the perspective a little. Now with a little bit of brown on the knife, we can drop in a tiny little door. Now back to the fan brush and some dark green. We can come over here and drop in a couple of little pine trees by tapping with the corner of that brush. Now with some brown on the knife, we can drop in a couple of rocks right here at the foreground. This kind of puts everything into perspective and makes this area look close, and then that stuff back there a little bit further away. Now with some brown and white, we can throw a little bit of highlight on these rocks. Just touch and let the knife bounce right down. Same over here. Now with some brown on the knife, we can come right up here and drop in a big tree. Just let it go right down the whole painting. All the way down. Now with a little bit of brown and white, we can come over here and just put a small amount of highlight on this tree. Now with some dark green on the one inch brush, we can drop a few nice little leaves up here. All I'm doing is just tapping with that brush. Now while we have that brush going, we might throw a couple of little bushes down here. Kind of push the water back, and we can also push that tree back. And a few over here, maybe one right there. Now with some yellow and green, we can come over here and put a little bit of highlight on these bushes. Now with the script liner and some brown, we can add a few tiny little limbs right here. Just jiggle the brush. Now with some yellow and green on the one inch brush, we can drop a little bit of highlight on some of these limbs up here. Just like that, using the corner of the brush and tapping. All right, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my DVD for sale. I'll put the link below. And also look me up on Facebook. I'll put that below too. And thanks for watching.